some Abraham Weaver right there with Nothing Happens Overnight from his album Yours. Check it out on Amazon and iTunes. It is 920 right now. He is in the studio, actually. So if you've been enjoying his music, check him out online right now, abrahamweaver.com, while we listen to him in the studio right now. Abraham, welcome to the studio. How are you doing? I'm doing great this morning, man. Thank you for having me this morning. Yeah, it's very exciting. We're, I know we were trying to get you in, but we had phone difficulties. And when I found out you were coming in person, I was like, there's going to be no difficulties there's this gonna... time. <laughs> so I'm really happy that you're in. And before we get talking about your, your great CD, yours, uh, I want to just remind people, you're online at uh, abrahamweaver.com. abrahamweaver.com. And you can buy his music on iTunes, uh, Amazon. Very easy to find you. And now we can get back to the now we can get into the interview. So nice. uh, one thing that I well, the story with you with the station is kind of funny. Uh, our Lone Star Country Nights Wayne Michaels ran into you, yeah. and this is before I even we ever crossed paths to come into the studio. And he gave me your CD, yours, and I listened to it. and I really liked it. And he's like, "Yeah, this guy was really good. I was very surprised because you were the opening act." And he's like, you know, most people who are those are the best best surprises are the opening act because you know what you're getting into for the main act. It's a surprise. And so he was <laughs> like, this is really good. And uh, I was really excited to listen to your CD. I really encourage everyone to check it out. The whole album's good. Uh, it's very ra- very rare in uh, the the music industry to produce a really good album. Uh, and but some people in country can really hit it, and you hit it with yours. So you guys need to check it out if you're listening. Check them out online, Amazon and iTunes with Abraham Weaver. And uh, but. Now I'm really happy that you came into the studio through another outlet, and I think we I want to touch that. I want people to talk about that. What brought you now? How are you in the studio? Well, the the, um, the first the first night I met uh, it was Wayne, correct? Yes. His name was uh, the night that I opened up for Cameron Nelson uh, at Wagner's Backyard in Pflugerville, and he was doing Cadence Hope. Mm-hmm. Uh, so we were promoting Cadence Hope, and uh, and then I gave him at the end of the night I gave him a CD. He he came up, and I think actually he bought a CD. Uh, and then we talked a little bit. And he talked about the uh, radio station and talked about getting an interview. And then, um, so of course, it just one thing led to another, and people have busy lives. So a lot of times, you you we talked about doing something, and sometimes it slips through the cracks. Uh, well, then again, last year in 2015, I uh, I, I joined a competition called Texas Star Austin uh, in November, and I was lucky enough to take the prize. I, I took first place in it, and out of that came a year's worth of a publicist. So Wicked Publicity out of the Woodlands um, is my or my Donna Wick. Uh, they're they're my publicist firm now. And um, they actually are the ones who contacted you all to get me an interview because I actually came up from Austin yesterday. They brought me back up here because we're doing a, uh, a visit to Outback Western Wear. It was another one of the things that we're doing today. I'm going to be one of their spokespersons for Outback Western Wear. But through that, I, got a, I, was, I was surprised when I got the, uh, the second email of a booking confirmation to come in this morning. They said, no, we got you in, so you're going to go ahead and be live on the radio. And I was like, oh, that's awesome. I'll get to not do it over the phone because that was the one thing. When we were going to do the interview, it was going to be over the phone. So I'm, you know, I'm sitting there, my, my bad calling. But it's, so it's a lot cooler to come into the radio station and see, you know, do it live like this. I know we're excited and we're going to be, uh, we feature your music and it's in our rotation. You have a, a single right now, Ain't It Amazing. Ain't It Amazing, yes. And that's your current promotional, I guess, promotional bit for yours. Mm-hmm. And uh, one question I have for you, with your album done, are you already working on your next album? Or are you just going to try to ride the album as long as you can until... You know, well, someone says, "Hey, hey one of the, one you of gotta, the, you got to do another album." Yeah, well, one of the, well, I'm looking at right now. I'm, I'm, I'm writing right now. I've got a couple of songs written, and I've got several that I've gotten started because one of the other things that I got out of the Wicked Publicity uh, promotional deal is getting to go into the recording studio with Matthew Knowles. Okay, uh, in Houston. So we're we're working the logistics out on that. So we're trying to figure out uh, when we will do that, and hopefully we'll do it in the next six months. Uh, and it's going to be more an EP. It won't be a full album. I'm thinking, you know, four, maybe five tracks. Uh, but I've got a couple of the songs already written, and uh, we're write, we're working on writing more. So I'm still pushing my record. Yours is still going to be out mm-hmm. there. Um, you know, I'm I'm doing it all on my own as far as the pushing and promoting is concerned. And now I've got some help through Wicked Publicity. Uh, but through Wicked Publicity, I think we're going to try to go into the studio with Matthew Knowles and record at least an EP to put out a couple of singles. Yeah, I always feel it's important uh, being, well, the, the, I guess, the music director, really. We're all kind of putting our music together here at Lone Star. But uh, I, you notice the trends and, and how what a successful musician does to keep the success rolling. And what I've noticed is the, the successful artists are always putting out new material. Yeah. And either in an EP, in a single, but they're always trying to hit your ears constantly throughout the years. Uh, and especially on radio, and that's why it's important for you as a musician to put Ain't It Amazing out there for so long and then keep moving. So I wish you luck with that. Thank and I you. think it's, uh, I, mean, I don't know how you know, I don't know how all these artists are not exhausted all the time because of all the promotion, all all of the writing, all the producing, all the logistics. Because you're based in Austin. Austin, correct? Texas, yeah. And right now you're touring in the San Antonio, Austin area 
on a consist- consistently. Yeah, okay. normally you know four or five nights a week, and I'm trying to move out. I'm, I'm doing some stuff out in Harper, Texas, stuff out in Fredericksburg, um, and then I've, I've been out to College Station. Uh, so it's just it's just trying to expand. I've got some friends in Bryan that are, are trying to get me out there. Uh, there's there's several different uh, avenues that I'm trying. I'm trying to get out here in Conroe as well too. So if you know, of a yeah, place, there's a lot of have, great venues yeah. out here. One thing too, I love to think about and talk to artists is where are you well received? Because Texas country, I feel like there's just little divisions depending on where you are in Texas. You know, it's funny that you say that because it, it's it's very true. Um, being from Austin, Texas, it's one of those things that if I try to go play somewhere else. It's not very well accepted, and I'm not. I don't understand why. Um, I left the Austin area for about four years, and I've been back in the Austin area. And I call Austin South Texas down a little town called San Benito, Texas, is my hometown. Mm-hmm. Uh, but I call Austin home because I've been there for 20 years. I left a few years ago, and when I came back, I think I'm going on almost three years of being back home. Um, I remember calling my my manager, Summer Publiska, and I said, "Hey," uh, or my booking manager, and I told her, "I said, hey." Uh, I guess I got to learn some Texas country. I said because I'm more I'm more of your '90s country guy. I'm I'm more of your Keith Urban, Clay Walker, Vince Gill, that that style of vocalist. Uh, and the music in Texas has evolved amazingly. And and this Texas and this red dirt um, sound that we've got, I, I love. It's just a little different than what I was used to because of the fact that it. But so like getting into San Antonio, it was really nice because there was another radio show that I was involved in in a whole top 10 thing, and I met a I met a band called the Jeff Jacobs Band. And so getting in touch with them, I came in like third. They came in first uh, with their single. And I remember contact, they, Nathaniel actually contacted me and said, hey, I said, um, why don't you play in San Antonio? I said, well, why don't you play in Austin? He's like, well, it's hard to get into Austin. I said, well, get me into San Antonio, and I'll get you into Austin. So that's what we did. So I, I went down, and I played a couple of venues with them, and then I brought them to the Star Texas Rodeo. Uh, and doing stuff like that. And then there's another Texas regional artist called Felix Trevere, or named Felix Trevere. He's not called that. His name is Felix. So Felix and I kind of did the same thing. So I went out to Fredericksburg, and I played out in Harpers, Texas. And now I'm actually getting booked out in these different areas. I'm starting to play like Alamo Beer in San Antonio, uh, the Auslander out in Fredericksburg, and there's other other venues. And that's what it's it's trying to trying to like get that gap between everybody away from us. And trying to team up with other musicians, other regional artists to go to like from, to get me into Denton and get Denton artists into Austin, into San Antonio. But it's really funny because although the, it's it's a, it's the Texas music has exploded and it's amazing. It's just trying to blend all of the areas together and, and getting all of us to play the different areas. Well, everybody, we're going to take a quick break, okay? And we're going to listen to one of your songs. When we come back, we'll talk more about your touring and especially the next step in your in your music because uh, you have one album, right? One. So yes. there's going to be it's many more. And especially an EP, hopefully. Yeah, so stick totally. around. This song right here is Why Did You Have to Go? And this is on your your debut album, Yours. So stick around. I'm talking to Abraham Weaver in the studio. You're listening to Mornings of Lone Star here at IRLoneStar.com. Soon to also be on Connors FM 104.5, 106.1. Lone Star Community Radio is FM. That's right. Set your radio dials and your button presets to Conroe's FM 104.5 and 106.1, coming in June of 2016. To celebrate this edition and the addition of video versions of our talk and music shows on YouTube, cable TV, and Our City TV, we are offering special sponsorship rates, which include free audio spots that are played throughout our broadcast. Interested? Check out our sponsor rates for shows just like the one you're listening to online at IRLoneStar.com slash sponsor or call the station at 936-647-5747. Reaching the people of Montgomery County with Montgomery County's community radio station with Lone Star Community Radio. Why did you have to go? That's from Abraham Weaver. He's in the studio right now. You're listening to Morning to Lone Star on IRLoneStar.com. And, of course, soon to be on Conroe's FM 104.5, 106.1. We were talking about uh, touring and all that good stuff Mm -hmm. because that's, to me, that's the way for you to put money in your pocket. Uh, That's right. And that's really the only way I would say musicians really make it unless they go to The Voice. And yeah. hopefully, and good they, luck. Yeah, good luck with that. <laughs> uh, but you know, that's, that's one thing I love is being here at the radio station. You get to see all these type of artists. And we were talking off the air about you know your album's really well produced. And uh, folks, you can get it right now on Amazon and iTunes. Uh, just visit abrahamweaver.com and you can find your way that you like to listen to. Uh, like I said, it's well produced, and that usually is a good sign that your live edition of your of your production is good. 
and yeah. which is always important, especially when you're playing a full set and you want to entertain folks. And you know, some people like background music, some people like to sit and dance. And your music, you're probably a good entertainer. So I think you're not going to do too bad here in the Conroe area, finding a good spot. Uh, and like we were talking about, the difficulty of getting into different neighborhoods in a sense of towns. Yeah, it's hard, and it's so funny to me because really, what it is, it's like the good old boy system. And then you, I know you have many stories of surprising people with the way you sound because people don't expect it. Like right. I haven't heard good country music, in, you know, since twenty years ago when George Strait <laughs> came into my place. You know that kind yeah, of story. Yeah. But your music's really good, and I encourage everyone to check it out. Uh, one thing I want to I want to talk about is your music, your CD, yours does have a religious element to it. It does. And that's never a negative thing, I think. I think it's more of a, a self-expression from the artist, and you get to know where he's coming from. So there are some elements in yours. And do you think, as an artist, does that hold you back? You know, or... I've, I've never... It, so I, when we released the CD, when we were going through the process of picking songs, uh, me and my producer, um, one of the... He and he and I, uh, Rick Orozco, he, he kind of knows my backstory. I've got a crazy story. I've been a musician for, for quite a few years, and living the life of a musician and any other musician will tell you it, it could be a rough life and and there was quite a few years ago that, that it actually was a really rough life and uh so going through him knowing me personally as, as a friend uh knowing my story he says i've got a song that i wrote man you got to listen to it and it, it was the first line of the song yours that he wrote that i said not only do i love the song but that's going to be the title track of my cd he's like you know it's a christian song right i said yep but it was not, I don't promote it as a Christian song. I, I think my music is positive. I tell everybody it's positive. Anybody that knows Abraham, I wear my faith on my sleeve. I don't, I don't sugarcoat it. But I also am human and I live life. So, and so I, I kind of let my music speak for itself and, and the expression that I give out in regards to my faith uh, and life and love and, and, and living in Texas and living, living this musical dream. I mean, it's, 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 it is what it is. But yeah, so I mean that that part of it is is big in it. Rick and I actually wrote the second. There's another tune on the on the CD called "In You," that one as well. It would be probably considered a Christian song. Um, I don't push it or promote it that way. I don't not promote it. It's not like I'm trying to hide it. Uh, I just I just want people to hear my music and uh, and whether it's a it's it, I'm a sappy love song singer and that's what you're going to hear mostly on my record. Uh, it's all positive music, you know. Uh, I do like a, a good beer drinking song every once in a while. I love Eric Church's music because it's all about whiskey and Jesus, uh, you know, stuff like that. But yeah, so uh, it's 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 who I am. Well, let's jump from that to your EP that you're working on. Can you tell us anything about what you're going to be putting into that album? You know, there's a there's a couple of things that I'm doing. There's a song that I actually wrote that I'm very proud of, uh, and it's it's a love song, and I'll I'll wait to share that later. Uh, but I'm listening to Texas country music. Uh, there is one that I've got coming up, and and if anybody knows me, uh, most people in the Austin area know it's it's gonna be a, it's gonna be a nice rowdy beer drinking, let's get drunk, and I shouldn't have gotten drunk kind of song, uh, only because it's me and it's funny. Uh, but I'm I'm you know I'm I'm stuck on on the love of music and the love of life and the love that life brings. So the majority of music you'll ever hear from me, it's 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 all about something that's it's like ain't it amazing, ain't it amazing to to have a love like that in your life. Uh, and the majority of my songs are, are, are mainly geared to that. You can check out Abraham online, abrahamweaver.com. Uh, before we get out of here, I want to know where can we come see you? What's going on? If I'm in Texas and I want to see you live, do you know on the top of your head yeah. where well, you're going to be next? You, you know, it's really funny because most of the time they, everybody asks, where are you playing? I'm like, ah. Oh. Well, go so, to my website. So, yeah, go to my website. If, you, if, you're in the, uh, if you're actually in the Woodlands area, uh, I'm actually going to be at about 11 o'clock this morning. And I'm not actually playing. I'm going to actually do an appearance. We're doing a photo shoot at Outback Western Wear. Okay. Uh, we're doing a photo shoot and getting outfitted. Uh, they're going to make posters and, and life-size cardboard cutouts that they're going to put creepy. in their store for me. Yeah. Are you going <laughs> to Are you going to ask them to add like three inches to it? <laughs> I'm going to ask them to Photoshop everything they can on it so they can make me look a lot better. Uh, but tonight, I'll actually have, when we get done there, we're actually driving back to uh, to Austin, actually to Cedar Park. I'll be at uh, Blue Corn Harvest, which is an amazing mm-hmm. restaurant in Cedar Park, Texas. Uh, tomorrow night, I'm at um, Hurricanes. I got it right Winston here, Girl. so yeah. I can help you out if you want. It's on the, <laughs> folks, again, abrahamweaver.com. He does have his sessions up there. Right now, you're doing acoustic sessions? That's, is yeah, that mainly, mainly I, I do a lot of acoustic stuff, and, okay. uh, and we're looking at putting a band together to do uh, larger venues, but right now... Everything that I do, I go out with uh, just me and a guitar. And sometimes I've got my buddy Kerry Williams on bass guitar that comes out with me. And uh, uh, but but normally it's just uh, yeah, it's just me and a guitar. 
And uh, I mean, this is this is a great website too. It's easy to use, and I'll let people know again: abrahamweaver.com. Thank you so much for coming in and sharing what's going on with your music. We're going to be spinning yours, the album, not just the song. Uh, and I think that's that's what we're going to stick with. We're going to kick it off right now. We got the Cindy Cochran show starting in about twenty minutes. This is his single right now. It's called "Ain't It Amazing." Again, abrahamweaver.com. Check out his CD, yours, on Amazon, iTunes, and of course the website abrahamweaver.com. Abraham, thank you so much for coming in. Thank you so much for having me. This and morning. I look forward to having you back in as soon as you want to promote something else. Cause awesome. We'll we, be back. we don't just need to talk about Ain't It Amazing all the time. <laughs> right. So here's the song, actually. Ain't It Amazing. This is from Abraham Weaver's debut album, Yours. Thanks for checking out this production on Old Star Community Radio, Montgomery County's radio station. For more information on this show and other shows on Lone Star, check us out online at IRLoneStar.com. If you're interested in sponsoring a program on Lone Star Community Radio and reaching the local audience of Montgomery County on FM, Internet, and TV media, please call 936-647-5747 or contact us online at IRLoneStar.com. This recording is a Lone Star Community Radio production produced by the show host and Dick Schistler of Lone Star Community Radio. Interested in volunteering as a music DJ or starting your own talk show? Yeah, contact Dick Schistler at dick at irlonestar.com or by phone at 936-647-5747.